On a circular path of radius 6 meters, the boy starts from point A on the circumference and walks along chord AB of length 3 meters. He then walks along another chord BC of length 2 meters to reach point C. Point B lies in the minor arc AC. Nice, so it's not coming back like this. The distance between point C from point A, we need to find AC. Right, so lovely question. So what do we know? We know that this is a triangle AOB where we know the three sides 6, 6 and 3. With that, we can find cos of angle AOB. And likewise, we can say, hey, I can find cos of angle BOC. So we know the three sides. We know A square plus B square minus C square by 2AB is cos C. So we can find cos of this angle, cos of this angle. With that, we can find sine of the angle, sine of the angle. With that, we can find cos of A plus B. Find cos of A plus B. We know this is 6, this is 6. We can join AC and find AC. So do this very methodically. So I'm going to think about this angle. Cos angle BOA. This angle is 6 square plus 6 square minus 3 square by 2 into 6 into 6. This square plus this square minus this square by 2 into 6 into 6, in which is 36 plus 36, 72, 72 minus 9, 63, divided by 72, which is 7 by 8. What are we going to do? We're going to find cos of angle BOC in 6 square plus 6 square minus 2 square by 2 into 6 into 6. I want to find cos of this angle, this square plus this square minus this square divided by 2 into these times. Lovely. This is 72 minus 4, 68 by 72, which is 17 by 18. Nice. So cos of angle BOA is 7 by 8. Cos of angle BOC is 17 by 18, which works. The smaller angle cos should be higher. Right? So 68 by 72 is 17 by 18. 63 by 72 is 7 by 8. Right? So, nice. This angle, theta, let's say alpha, cos theta equal to 7 by 8. Cos alpha is 17 by 18. So sin theta, sin square theta is 1 minus 7 by 8 the whole square, 49 by 64, which is 15 by 64. So sin theta root 15 by 8. I don't have to worry about negative sin is positive in that territory. So minus root 15 by 8 is root 15 by 8. What have we done? 1 minus 49 by 64. Same funda sin alpha 1 minus 289 by 324. 24 plus 11 is 35. 35 by 325. 324 sin square alpha or sin alpha equals root 35 by 18. What do we do? We want to find cos of theta plus alpha. We look to find cos theta cos alpha minus sin theta sin alpha. That is this whole thing. So theta plus alpha. Cos theta cos alpha is 7 by 8 into 17 by 18 minus root 15 by 8 into root 35 by 18. Cos of theta plus alpha is cos theta cos alpha minus sin theta sin alpha. So 7 into 17 is 119 by 8 into 18 minus root 15 to root 35. There's a phi that is common. So phi root 3 into root 7. Phi root 21 by 8 into 18. This cos of theta plus alpha. What is this equal to? This should be equal to 6 square plus 6 square minus AC square by 2 into 6 into 6 equals 
119 minus 5 root 21 by 18 to 18. With that, we can find AC square. We find AC square, we can find AC. You know, still not done. Let's hang in there. 119 minus 5 root 21. 8 into 18. That's an 18 here. Make it 3. 3, this becomes 2. 2 into 2 is 4. This is 2. 6 square plus 6 square is 72. I'm going to call AC as X. 72 minus x square into 2 which 119 minus 5 root 21 144 minus 2 x square 144 minus 2 x square equals 119 minus 5 root 21 119 minus 5 root 21 take the 2 x square that side bring this to the side 114 and 144 minus 119 plus 5 root 21 is 2x square. This is 25 plus 5 root 21 is 2x square. Or x square equals 25 plus 5 root 21 by 2. This is x square. We need to find x. Still a pain. My gut feel is it's not this, it's not this, it's not this. It's not a number it should be this so what i'm going to do i'm going to root 15 plus root 35 by 2 whole square so root 15 plus root 35 by 2 whole square that is 1 by 4 times 15 plus 35 plus 2 root 15 into root 35 15 plus 35 is 50 50 50 plus 2 into 5 into 5 2 into 5 10 root 21 by 4 which is 25 plus 5 root 21 by 2 which is this <sighs> proper pain in the neck we find how what is our approach we look at this question and say hey it's going to be time consuming question we find we know three sides of a triangle we can find cause of any angle we find cause of this angle three sides of a triangle we can find cause of any angle we find cause of this angle we know cause of an angle we can find sine of that angle this is pure positive territory nothing to worry we find sine of theta sine of alpha you know cos theta cos alpha minus sine theta sine alpha is cos of theta minus alpha theta plus alpha so from there we methodically find cos of theta plus alpha you get this cos of theta plus alpha is this angle now we introduce ac and then say 6 square plus 6 square minus AC square divided by 2 into 6 into 6 is cos of theta plus alpha. We know cos of theta plus alpha is this number, equate it and then find AC square. It turns out that AC square is a mess. AC square is some, some 25 plus 5 root 21 by 2. Therefore, we know the answer is not any of these three. It should be this. If we square this and check, it turns out fine. That's our answer. Super tough question, time consuming question used based on the idea of plugging in cost rule not once, not twice, but thrice. Cost rule, cost rule, cost rule. Plug in cost rule for triangle AOB, plug in cost rule for triangle BOC, get cos theta cos alpha, get sin theta sin alpha, get cos of theta plus alpha, then plug in cost rule for AOC. Super tough question. Gosh.